Welcome back to Unlimited Reads. You're with Chris, and thanks for joining me today as I will be wrapping up the month of October where I read some really great stuff, but I actually had a shocking DNF, which I'll tell you about shortly. Now, apologies for my voice. I am still a little bit nasally, but for the last solid week, I had been struck down with COVID, a really bad bout of it, which really knocked me around, and uh, I've only just gotten back on my feet and uh, actually have a voice back so that I can deliver some content. Now, I am pretty much uh, behind with the content, but I'm going to try and get out as much as I can over the next week or so in order to catch up. So uh, let's start with some basic statistics as per usual. So I read four novels, one novella, and one short story. Now, pages read, I read 1,317 pages, which is uh, about 704 down from September, which isn't any big deal. So with the genres I read in the month of October, I read three horrors and three thrillers. The best performing long form video was my announcement of a new Stephen King book coming in May next year, which is a new Holly book that got 120 views, which wasn't too bad. The poorest performing long form video was my spoiler free review of The Death Watcher by Chris Carter with just 15 views, which was a little bit surprising, but uh, it is what it is. The books I read, I read The Housemaid is Watching by Frieda McFadden, the third book in the Housemaid series, which I've been enjoying, and I gave this one uh, four stars. I enjoyed it. Uh, I was a little bit shocked about the chronology in the series, where it takes a jump about 10 years into the future, but it was uh, a bit of shock value there, but uh, the twists and turns just kept on coming, uh, which Frieda McFadden is renowned for. I also read, uh, did a reread for Salem's Lot by Stephen King, which I really, really enjoyed and gave it five stars. There was nothing I didn't dislike about it. I had forgotten uh, a lot of the book because I hadn't read it since I was 15 years old. And I just, uh, the nostalgia trip was fantastic. And it was when Stephen King was at his absolute best. And I just really loved the writing. It was uh, fantastic. I also read The Death Watcher by Chris Carter, which was the latest Detective Robert Hunter book in the series. I gave that one four stars because it was very well written and a really good twist at the end and very, very uh, smart uh, with the plot lines involved in that one. I also did another reread for another Stephen King classic, Pet Cemetery, which I gave five stars to. It was brilliant. And uh, as part of the whole experience, I did uh, watch the 1989 adaptation, which is very, very true to the book. But uh, in my opinion, uh, it is screaming for a TV series, not a remake like the dumpster fire that was in 2019. God, I hated that movie. I mean, a couple of things about it. How could they put Ali Creed as um, being the victim of the truck and being resurrected? And just an annoying little thing where they used a Maine Coon cat uh, for the uh, animal role of church, which is inaccurate in my opinion, because I know that uh, the idea was fairly original by using a Maine Coon cat, but in terms of uh, being true to the story, uh, Church was an actual Russian blue cat, which, uh, and the creeds were from Chicago. So, uh, yeah, won't dwell any more on that. I also read a short story called Ushers by Joe Hill, which was part of the Amazon original story series. I gave that four stars. It was an interesting take on um, Angels of Death, which was really, really good. And I also read a novella called The Doll's House by Lisa Unger, which was uh, about 98 pages. It was a really fantastic fantastic read. Uh, it was very dark, it was very gothic, and just all um, an all-around entertaining piece of fiction because I did want to close out the month with a couple of short pieces of fiction given the fact that I was sick. Okay, so let's talk about this DNF, which is shocking. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that the Jack Reacher thriller series is my second favorite series of all time. And I was excited to pick up the uh, latest book recently, Into Deep, written by Lee and Andrew Child. Now, initially I thought this is going to be very, very good, but unfortunately it wasn't in my opinion. Now, this is very shocking for me to DNF. A Jack Reacher book is massive, and I just felt it wasn't doing anything for me. I gave it to page 200 before ditching it, and uh, nothing much was happening. There was nothing new brought to the series. The plot was very, very confusing. Um, didn't know uh, what was happening half the time, and uh, with some of the violence there that um, Jack Reacher inflicts on people, isn't anything new, and was borderline boring. So uh, whether I get back to it or not remains to be seen, but it was very disappointing. And a first for the channel where I actually have DNF'd a Jack 
Jack Reacher book, which is unheard of and very, very shocking for you to hear, I would imagine. But, um, you know, I may pick it up again. Who knows? But uh, my tolerance for it was very, very low. And uh, it's the first time I've uh, DNF'd a Jack Reacher book. So uh, there you go. And now this brings me to my book of the month, which I didn't want to pick a Stephen King one, which uh, could have been a book of the month, but because they were rereads, I don't think they count. So I have gone with The Death Watcher by Chris Carter, which was very well written. It was a very solid entry into the series. The uh, the crime that was committed was very original, where the perpetrator um, staged um, bodies in such a way to make... Uh, the police think that they were uh, deaths by accidents when in fact they weren't. It was just very, very smart, very, very uh, solid entry in the series and I really, really enjoyed it and a very worthy winner of my book of the month. The main highlight for October for me was reaching 50,000 views on the channel, which was a good milestone for me to get to and I was really, really chuffed about that. So uh, there you go, guys. That is it for my monthly wrap-up for October. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos help me get to the thousand subscriber mark and beyond and please be patient while I catch up and get more content out to you being sick didn't make things very fun and didn't make me feel like filming uh, especially when I didn't even have a voice so uh, thank you very much please be patient and the content will follow shortly but until the next video guys happy reading